Hello, it's Friday and I'm in Luxembourg airport. No rest for the wicked. I'm just on my way uh, to Telford where I'll be playing in the opening uh, weekend of the Florence CL. Really looking forward to being reunited with Team Chaddleton. I'm going to meet up with David tonight as well as a few more teammates. Um, Florence CL I think is really my favorite uh, league so I can't wait. I actually need to run now because I was just having lunch, a big lunch in the lounge and I think recording has started already so I better hurry. I'm flying via Amsterdam, uh, Amsterdam airport which is pretty much my second home so I'll catch up with you guys when I get there. and I've just arrived at the park in, in Telford and this is incredible timing Hi! <laughs> Literally just arrived at the same time after I had a monster journey from Luxembourg and David drove like how long? Six, six and a half six hours. hours I was stuck in traffic for two hours it's this time of the year again where I can't get rid of David. <laughs> yeah, she would. She doesn't want to get rid. She's been following me for months. Stalking. Stalking. The last time we were here was for the final weekend of last season, and I scored. Do you remember how much? Uh, was it a very round number? <laughs> a very round zero out of three. So we'll try and do better next time. Yeah, we both know this place. Played here many times before. Swimming pool part two. You saw him in Minsk. On my big belly, it's <laughs> <laughs> big water belly. Um, so yeah, swimming pool. I think they said they have a jacuzzi, a sauna. Yeah. So that should be good. I think we earned it. We literally sat in the lobby for one hour waiting to get rooms. Thank you. Like we actually we're in big time trouble because last entry to the gym is like three minutes time. from now. <laughs> he knows all about time travel. Looks like we made it. <laughs> Meet my friend, Graham Kafka, who's undergone the biggest transformation I've ever seen in any person. In I'm still holding the bar after this. Huh? I'm still holding the bar after this. <laughs> also, if I go closer, although I've known Kafka for a few years now, I still can't understand a word he says. Ever. <laughs> it's always better, I mean. How good a swimmer are you? Uh, very good. <laughs> Friday night. This is the first time ever I've not gone out to the hotel bar on a Friday night at a Forensial. Instead, we're just having a live talk and doing work. <laughs> work, <laughs> work. <laughs> and watching, oh, the break has just started. We're watching a uh, silver lining. Play, a silver linings playbook. Yeah. With my future wife Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> um, tomorrow we play at two p.m. We play against Wood Green. So David is going to play. Pretty sure against uh, John Spielman. John Spielman. I'm probably gonna play against Sarah Hegarty. And um, yeah, hopefully we can get off to a good start. Last year, last year was quite funny. The first eight rounds, we only lost two individual games. So out of 64 boards, 
and then on the final weekend we collapsed completely i lost all my games Ezra joined me. <laughs> Ezra is a good friend, not leaving me alone in my misery, also losing all his games. And we just had a disaster of a weekend, so hopefully we can get off to the same good start. It's bedtime, it's 1 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning we need to have, I quite like breakfast here, full English veggie breakfast. Do you like, uh, do you like sausages for breakfast? <laughs> ha ha, nice. Okay, good night, everyone. I'm going now to my room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Good morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just about to have breakfast. It's a lovely day outside. Good morning. Just came from breakfast. And we're now about to go and start preparing because we're pretty sure we know who we're playing. We're so professional. We're super professional. Um, and the game starts at 2 p.m. local time, which is three and a half hours from now. It must now be like 10.30. The rest of our team should be arriving shortly. Um, last night is literally the first time ever I didn't go out, so tonight we'll have some catching up to do, some socializing. Right, we have an important business to attend to now, so we'll catch up with you guys. See you later. <laughs> later. It's now 2 p.m. I think games just got underway, so I'm going to have to hurry. Just a quick check-in to let you know. Done my usual nonsense last-minute preparation. I was actually planning to film in the playing hall before my game, but no, prepared until the last second because for once in my life I'd started preparing early and then when the pairings came out an hour and a half ago, turned out I wasn't playing Sarah, but I was playing my good friend Anna Sobrinich, who plays something completely different. So I uh, just finished my prep now, I gotta run. An hour and a half later and I just got my phone from my room because Anna and I made a quick draw. Uh, that wasn't the plan of course, but I started feeling pretty bad during the game. Also I was on out of book on move uh, two, so considering that I think I got a really nice position out of the opening, which just wasn't feeling well and so I for the draw, which she accepted. Um, hopefully that will be good news for the team because my board was one of the only two where we were outweighted, even if it was just slightly uh, in my case. So Anna is looking for a book about the Dutch. I think if we find it, we should both buy it. Well, we can share. I'm <laughs> sure we are not gonna <laughs> read it like every day, so we can just... Okay, let's go and have a hot chocolate. No Dutch. But hot chocolate? <laughs> I hope so. Having a hot chocolate with lovely Anna. So, in case you didn't understand earlier, she's my opponent from today. You probably remember I was. her. You were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not actually still playing. You probably remember her from Ljubljana yes. and from Isle of Man. Yes. And here we are. I think this is our third third time we played each other. I only remember one from London. Olympiad. I know, but we played in London. We made a draw, and you beat me in the Olympiad. And that's why I drew, I don't remember. <laughs> I only remember when I beat you. <laughs> <laughs> but today it wasn't to be. We actually, well, Anna had a quick look, look at the game. Um, basically, w I was out of book on move two and Anna on move three. So we sort of improvised from there. Yes. And then For the whole ten moves. <laughs> for the whole ten moves. The ten moves we played, though, were really interesting. But, um, yeah. 
Anna said she shouldn't have taken on F6, right? Yes. But instead played F3, F3. and then... And then just play. And then play. Because, <laughs> yeah, as it is, um, she got the pawn back, but I just have the bishop pair and I'm maybe yes. tiny, tiny bit better in the end. But I don't feel... I'm not so happy uh, with how the match is going for us at the moment, but... Also, David, time management, as usual, but is going to drive me crazy. Yes, but he made the move, so this is good. After <laughs> 45 minutes, he made the move, so he's not sleeping, at least not anymore. Saturday night, we just drew our match for four. David and I were actually the only two draws of the match. And everyone else won on us. Good morning, it's Sunday 10.52, which means we're playing eight minutes from now, I'm just doing some last minute preparation. Um, you can probably hear it from my voice, I got a cold now. But we're playing Alba today, team from Scotland, newly promoted, playing Ali Roy. Um, I've never played her before, uh, she's rated 1900 on white, so I'm really gonna try and win today, regardless of how I feel. Sunday afternoon, we just finished our match against Alba. Well, we're definitely winning. We both won our game, so happy, happy day. Yay! But as usual, after Fuente, I think just tired. Yeah. I'm just going to the bar now to grab a bite to eat. <laughs> There's a familiar vlog face right here. <laughs> the vlog! The vlog! <laughs> so, Mr. Sebastian Mazet and my teammate, Ezra Kirk. So, I think I'm gonna join them now. Grab a bite to eat. Sunday evening, everyone has left and I've just finished looking at my game. I told you earlier I was quite happy with it, but I didn't think it was going to be entirely engine proof. Uh, to my surprise, it more or less is. Um, the game started out as a wing gambit, one of my favorite openings. Um, I know it's not completely sound, but it's a great surprise weapon, also works very well in blitz. Um, and I got the sort of game I wanted, a pawn down, but with attacking chances and compensation. And then I think the first critical moment of the game came on move 20, after she just played bishop takes e6. Uh, here I had basically just intended bishop a4 check, and I thought, great, I'm giving her a check, and she loses her right to castle. But then we got there, and I thought, well, after king d8, I mean, it's just a check, and then what do I actually do? So I sank into a deep 40 minute think um, where I was considering all bishop a4, bishop e4 and the move I eventually played, uh, bishop f5. Also, uh, when I checked with the computer, initially it wasn't in the top three suggestions, but after one minute there it was in number one spot, so I can give myself a little pat on the shoulder. But uh, more seriously, the reason I spent so long on bishop f5 is because other than uh, b3, the move she played and which is the most human move. I was also wondering if she could take on c3. So after taking on c3, I was intending queen a4 check, king d8, uh, bishop takes e6. And here, um, what I hadn't seen is that it's just the best move for black is to simply take back on e6 and the computer gives a long line, uh, which ends in a forced draw, but crazy stuff. Um, what I was wondering if, is if she could take on d4, uh, which turns out to be a blunder, because after queen takes d4, I have king h1, which looks very strange because I just give a knight with check. But after queen takes h4, I have a bishop h3, and white is just completely winning, so that's quite a nice line. 
Um, but in the game, I think her mistake was just a few moves later, g6, which just leaves the Black King too vulnerable. And I could probably have wrapped things up quicker had I played uh, knight e3 instead of knight g3, because after knight e3 she has to take, and after bishop takes e3, I'm threatening both uh, d5 and rook f6, so if she wants to stop that uh, by playing queen d5, I have uh, queen g4, and white is... Um, very close to be winning here. As it was in the game, uh, another mistake was queen c6 here. She had to play rook h c8, and after that the position is still very unclear. Um, basically, I still have compensation, but it just would be a game uh, with all three results possible. And then she played rook h c8 a move later, which was the the losing uh, mistake because after knight c5 uh, the position is just completely winning for me and I think I managed to uh, convert um, pretty much flawlessly after that so I'm very uh, very satisfied with this game and I think also overall this weekend uh, was good for me to get back on track I hadn't played uh, classic and chess since the summer apart from one game in the Luxembourgish league so good to be back behind the board uh, but for now, I'm going to head off to bed because tomorrow morning I have an early flight and you probably know by now I'm not a morning person at all. So off to bed now and I'll catch up uh, with you guys in the morning. Night night! Monday morning, 9 a.m. I'm in Birmingham airport, just about to get a flight uh, back home. What can I say overall about this weekend? Very disappointed, of course, with Saturday's draw, but it was still good to be back, uh, get the league started, also see the guys again. I really love the Forensial. Uh, for now, what's next? I'm going to be home for all of three days. Then I come back to England, to London, to be precise, to play in Simon's Crypt event. Uh, and then from there I fly to the Faroe Islands to play in Runevik Open, which I'm also very much looking forward to. So a lot coming up, uh, but for now you can see my plane there. So I better run and um, I'll see you guys very soon. But I thought it wouldn't be engine proof, turned out though blah blah blah. Um, what can I say about the game? That's not what I wanted to say at all. I think at uh, the first critical moment, you know, I need to jump and live with the back. Uh, what, what, what I. What, 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 I just forgot to mention the whole variation. I was doing so well. Mom, 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 mom.